what we're trying to, to look into are other strains of coronavirus that have the potential to, to jump to humans. And like I said, so we're doing a simulation model of the risk factors, trying to look into the possibility, what are the areas in the Philippines with all those pests with coronavirus? What are, these, what are these areas that have the potential to be the ground zero for coronavirus infection? just finished setting up a mist net so as you can see here uh, it's called the mist uh, because well the, the color is the thread is made out of nylon it's color black and from a distance you can't actually see see the net so hence it's called uh, it's it blended it blends with uh, the forest background so so we use this for capturing bats using molecular techniques, uh, molecular laboratory work, so we can determine if some of these coronaviruses have the potential to infect humans, or what you call as zoonotic to humans, that, that the, the ability of the virus to jump from an animal host to a human host. we know the virus itself and where we know where it came from we know how to isolate that virus geographically so we can uh, implement some restriction travel restrictions we can prevent um, city to city province to province transmission I think uh, our project has the has this amazing uh, uh, promise of possibly avoiding a next pandemic by determining where or when or possibly when this uh, uh, the next pandemic will occur. Mm -hmm.